The rebels are nearby, and there's a message from the Emperor. Don't tell me this time because... Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Before we get started on the Google SketchUp computer generated images, I'm going to show you one trick that I forgot to mention last week. It's basically how to make sure that the green that your computer generated images are using match up with your green JPEGs. This one tends to work for me. I use this one a lot, but some computers use different types of greens or it just shows up differently or starts to freak out. Now what you have to do is pay attention to the concept of what I'm doing and apply it to your situation. We are going to take a screenshot of this image and then use paintbrush to paint a green box. The way to take a screenshot on my computer is I hold shift, control, and command all at the same time. Then I hit the number three on my keyboard. If you have that feature enabled, it'll make a little audio camera shutter sound. So now we have taken a screenshot. Next, go into preview. I have it down here. Go to file, new from clipboard. Click it. Now I'm going to shrink down iMovie so I don't get it confused with everything going on here. Along with my Firefox browser. And just close my folder. So this is our preview. Now just do file, save as. Make sure you select uh, make sure you select JPEG. I'm gonna put it as best quality. Give it a name that you can remember. Stay organized. Click save. I saved it onto my desktop, so here's the preview of it. Now you can close preview. What we're gonna do is right click on our saved screenshot and go to open with and click paintbrush. You don't have that program, I highly recommend downloading it. I'm I'm not sure where I got it. I got it a long time ago, so just try and find your own link. There's probably an updated version now. Just get that program. So right now we're working in paintbrush. What we're going to do next is select the eyedropper tool. This is seen on our toolbar. And you're going to eyedrop the green that you're working with. This is the exact green that your element is using. Then you can go File, New, change the dimensions to fit your needs. Hit the bucket tool and paint. And voila. Now you have your green box matching your green screen element. So keep that in mind and let's move on to the Google SketchUp. So now let's get started on the Google SketchUp portion of the tutorial. I hope you watched the bonus tutorial so you have an idea of what's going on here. I already set up my scenes. I already made my sphere. What I'm going to be working with today is a computer generated portal gun from one of my favorite video games. So here we have our scenes. I have my green sphere. And to record my computer screen, I am going to be using ScreenFlow for the Mac. You can use any program you feel comfortable with. I believe an updated version of QuickTime can also record the computer screen. I cannot show you the process of trying to record your computer screen because I would need to record my computer screen recording and that doesn't quite work too well. You get a whole inception headache kind of thing going on. 
Basically, I'm going to hit record and navigate using my scenes. I've already set up my scenes. You do not want to try navigating using the mouse because the mouse is going to get in the way of everything here. And you just want the project to go as easy and smooth as possible. So pretend I hit record on my computer screen. So blicky. And now hit scene. Blicky. All right, done recording. And here is the actual thing I recorded. I did this before the tutorial, so yeah. Ta-da. Okay. So now let's work in iMovie. I'm going to put uh I'm going to put the texture background first. Get rid of the Ken Burns effect. There we go. Now let's grab our item that we recorded from our computer screen. Drag that and put it into your event library. Grab the part that you're interested in. And put it into your project. Hit green screen. And now we have it working out pretty good there. However, as you can see, this is what the background is supposed to be and this is what the background actually does so you can see we have recorded my entire computer screen the way to fix that is you just click on the green screen element the top layer and click crop and you basically move these around to fit your needs And there we go, it's looking better. And that is pretty much it. So that's pretty much how to use Google SketchUp in iMovie. If you're using a more advanced programs such as Final Cut or After Effects, the technique is basically the same. Make sure your mouse arrow is out of the way. Navigate around using the scenes. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.